activity going on at the moment. Obviously, um, we've got countries that are looking at this right now. Spain's just introduced, I think, um, a basic income. And uh, we've had experiments also in Finland that have ended recently, um, which was for 2,000 randomly selected unemployed people, given the equivalent again of about $1,200 a month, um, and a randomised controlled trial group that received no income. So in all of these studies, it's important to note, though, that they're not universal because it's not a natural experiment. Not everyone in the population gets it, right? They're very segmented, targeted populations where they're trying to monitor the work incentives, the health effects, education and participation. Um, in the developing world, there's been bigger studies, and obviously your money goes a lot further on a basic income study in places like India or Kenya. I um, mean, in those places, very transformative, right? So in the first year, yes, you see those same effects, but in year two and three, then you start to see that people get pooling their income. They buy sewing machines, they start sewing clothes. They pay off the, the, um, the debtor, so they're no longer in debt. Uh, they put fish in the dam and sell those at market. So there's a whole lot of kind of collective or societal dynamics that start to unfold in these quite remote um, villages, nonetheless, these are not urban settings, but really quite interesting, not just individual effects, which is what we've been talking about, but what are the collective dynamics that start to get unleashed by this? So if we scaled it up, I think there's enough evidence to say that you could see some of these same effects, but again, it would depend on the kind of society uh, that you've got, the notions of what we think we owe each other, all of those things, but I think there's enough evidence um, to suggest that we, we could do it and not be too concerned about the particular effect on work, that we would see some health impacts positively, we would see people increase education, undertake uh, some care work. So I think the case for it on the, the trials that are run to date and are running at the moment would suggest that, you know, they're not reason to say no on the basis of right, the trials. Okay. Gigi.